It says that Joe and Bob have decided to enter into a project which requires an initial investment by each of them. So we know, looking at the value function that we're dealing with our holdup problem, where that the amount of value they can create is some function of the amount of money they invest. It says, assuming that Joe and Bob split any gains from trade evenly between them, and that they both anticipate opportunistic behavior from the other after the investments are made, what is the difference between the efficient total investment and the actual total investment? So they just told us that they, they anticipate opportunistic behavior from the other, which that goes ahead and tells us that the actual, the actual total investment is going to be with the holdup problem. And then the efficient total investment, of course, is without the holdup problem. So we're going to be looking at the two, uh, the difference between those two numbers. So we're going to be looking at the sum of Joe and Bob's investment when there's the holdup problem. And we're looking at the sum of the Joe and Bob's investment without the holdup problem. Well, total surplus is this, regardless of if we're doing holdup or not. And we know, again, we're going to be looking at total investment efficient minus total investment holdup, where total investment is equal to the sum of Joe's investment and Bob's investment. So with holdup, we're going to divide, for one of the people, we're going to divide the value by two, but not their investment. We can simplify this and take the derivative with respect to ij and solve for ij, in this case, to be equal to 30. Well, we know that these guys are symmetric because they have they can create the same amount of value and their investment the cost to them is the same so we know that ib is also going to be 30 therefore the total investment with the holdup problem is equal to 60. Well, without the holdup problem this is the efficient amount we're just going to take the derivative with respect to total surplus so we can do it with respect to either variable i've chosen ij but you know that it's going to be the same thing anyway. It's going to be symmetric again, so ij is going to be equal to ib. And we solve for, in this case, ij to be equal to 40, so ib is equal to 40. So the total of investment, when it's the efficient amount, is 80. So our answer to this question is the difference between those two numbers, or 80 minus 60, or 20.